Um, let's say you're let's say you're looking at the the wrist. Um, before DDR, you have um, you have a, a still image of, of what the wrist looks like in time. So it's like taking a, a it's like in, a, in a, on a vacation and taking a picture of in that instance what is happening in that instance. And so you can have a, a still image of what is happening in this instance. But you don't know what's happening with the wrist when it's in this position, in this position, or as it's moving from this position to this position. And as you know, patients don't necessarily care as much about their wrist being in this position. They care about their ability to do this. They care about their ability to do this. They care about their ability to move in all kinds of different directions. And so by having a still image, you're, it's, like, it's like understanding the difference between watching a, a picture of some place that you're on vacation versus watching a video of, of all that's going on at that specific place. You can actually see all the stuff that's going on at, at a particular time point. So then if you think that the patient has a wrist pain because of one reason, um, but you watch their joints move and that reason doesn't make sense anymore because you've actually seen inside their wrist,